Hello everyone. Happy Friday. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done one of these little videos. Did a lot of them during the pandemic, but we've kind of gotten out of that now that I get to see you on Sundays for sure every week. Um, but I did want to touch base uh, in regard to one specific issue. You may have noticed, uh, if you've been breathing lately, that um, within our community of hope, there is a growing amount of tension, both around political issues and specifically around uh, COVID, pandemic, masks, vaccination, all of that. A lot of divergent opinions. And the way that, that people tend to deal with those, um, apart from the gospel, uh, is, is it becomes polarizing. It becomes us versus them. It becomes one opinion versus the other opinion. And there's a wedge that gets driven between people. And that's, that's magnified or at least maintained by systems or rules or even phrasing, you know, language that we use about sheep or, uh, you know, things like that. It, it, we, we, we fall into these structures or ways of living that keep us polarized based on opinions or thoughts about a given issue. And, and the thing I keep coming back to over and over is, is that the church should be the one place where that doesn't impact our relationship with each other, where that we can model to the world around us how we love and serve and show grace and live together despite disagreeing on political issues or pandemic issues. The church should be the place where we're unified by the fact that human beings are created in the, na in the image of God, that they are deeply loved by him, that, that through Jesus and his grace and mercy, we are brought into a family despite our differences of opinion. The church should be showing the world how to live in these situations. Far too often, I'm afraid the church is not. But one of the things I, my job and Jake's job as pastors are is to call us back to that, to remember, you know, it's, it's not about the rules. It's about how we offer grace to each other. It's not about our particular opinion and being right so much or convincing the other so much as it is about living in the grace of Christ that I receive and that I give to others. And so th this touches on our own particular COVID protocols here at Grace. Our elders have talked about this. Uh, we've wrestled through it. We realize it's a multi-layered issue. Um, but here's where we are, uh, at least at this time. Um, when you come to church, we are asking that you wear a mask and that you, you do that, not because it's a rule, not because, but, but out of grace and compassion for other people. Um, out of, out of uh, counting others' needs as more important than our own. Now, I, I do realize the public health order does not require churches to mask, um, but, but the elders have decided we, at this time, do want to ask you to mask when you're here, once again, out of grace and compassion for others, as a way of esteeming the needs of others as higher than your own needs, which is biblical right, which is following the example of Jesus. Now, um, one of the reasons, too, that we want to do this is this week we're launching our community groups, and we're going to be gathering in smaller places, uh, and we do want to ask people to wear masks. Now, that being said, I also want to be, uh, I want to be really upfront. There are people in our body who, for various reasons, whether it be medical or exemptions or whatever, will not wear a mask and will not be able to wear a mask. And we want you to be welcome and, and feel at home in our service as well. So what I'm asking the, the whole body to do is to realize if you see somebody not wearing a mask, that, that out of grace and compassion for others, you, you'll trust that they are doing so out of grace and compassion for you, that this is the best that they can do with what we are asking. And that, that as a body, instead of trying to police and control and maintain or convince the other side that we're right, um, that, that when we come together, our focus is upon worshiping God who accepts us as we are, who calls us to love one another, even despite our differences. And that, that the fundamental principle of what we're doing is to offer grace to one another, to esteem the needs of the others as higher than our own. Th those kind of things are really important. And I do think if as we do that, as we live that out, that models to the world a way that they don't understand. They don't know how to live with people. I, 
I mean, if people, I, I know their friendships have been broken over this these issues around the pandemic, around vaccination, around masks, that, that people have left churches over these issues. And, and I, I just want to say, people, let's, let's realize this is not the gospel here. This is not the gospel. This is not the truth of Jesus. And, and we need to be able to model and learn to walk together with people of divergent opinions with grace and compassion toward one another. That's what uh, we want to call you to do here as a church. That's what we want to be. And I think by doing that, we do model to our community a different way of life, a, a way of life that's powered by the gospel a way of life that that meets the vision that we have here of of lives renewed and a community transformed by the power of the gospel, by the power of God's love and grace for us. So uh, that's where we are. Uh, I'm I'm hoping that's going to make you feel comfortable. Uh, I know it may be hard for some of you what we're asking at this time, but I just wanted to explain a little bit about why we are and also the mindset that needs to go behind it. That that what we're doing here is not about keeping a rule, but it's about trying to do anything we can to love and serve one another. So it's great to be a part of that with you guys. Um, I, I see God at work even in the midst of all this tension. Sometimes that's when he works the most. So look forward to seeing you Sunday and um, we'll talk then. Love you guys. Bye-bye.